Think about the people who are closest to you, a best friend, a friendly acquaintance, or a loved one. Think about the very first moment that you met this person. Which chance encounter was it that brought your fates together? That is the question that is explored in the slice of life anime Horimiya. It explores this in the context of a high school environment and inspires gratitude in our own lives as to the different chance encounters that have caused us to meet such wonderful people in our lives. We're first introduced to Hori, a girl whose parents aren't home often and as a result she becomes the de facto head of the household, cooking, cleaning, and babysitting her younger brother Sota. The anime characterizes this as this big secret that Hori hides from all of her friends at school because it would be far too embarrassing if her friends found out that she wasn't the cool girl that everyone thought she was. A bit hyperbolic, but it's thematically relevant. So here we have Hori who can't hang out with her friends after school because she does all the housework and she's just hanging out doing housework things. Then all of a sudden Sota comes home with a bloodied nose and a nice young man who's helped him get home. After exchanging thank yous and your welcomes, Hori welcomes this stranger into her home, only to find out that this is someone she knows from school. Meet Miyamura, who also has a secret life of his own. At school, he's the long-haired, nerdy, gloomy guy who doesn't really talk to anyone. Though outside of school, you find that he's got a billion piercings, styles his hair in really cool ways, and has a bunch of tattoos hiding underneath his very long sleeves. That is the premise behind Horimiya. Two people who have met at a chance encounter to also find out the both of them have been leading secret lives. There's a special sort of intimacy between the two, this secret side of them only being shown to each other. Throughout the rest of the anime, there's high school drama, slice of life stuff, the usual, and it's pretty funny and cute, and it's cool that we explore the same theme for all the other characters where there is a great deal in sharing that secret side of you. To expose some trait of yours that is not shown to the rest of the world, whether it's the fact that you're a gamer girl, or whether you're actually quite a serious boy at home. Again, it's inspiring this appreciation for those around us, to value the time that we have with those who trust us enough to show the self that they do not typically show publicly. Though let's come back to that original question that I posed at the start of the video. How did you meet those closest to you? Not talking about a family member, but some of your closest friends, and if you had not met them, how drastically different would your life have been? I find Miyamura such a fascinating character because that is what he reflects on in the very last episode, as he is surrounded by a community who cares about him. He thinks back to his past where he's never had that sense that people are invested in his life, the really tragic state of existence that a child feels when they are simply alone. Then by dumb luck to suddenly meet with Horisan and have the course of his life to change before our very eyes. Horimiya highlights the fundamental human need to be in relationship. As we are all made in the image of God, we are intrinsically relational beings. As such, this ought to be encouragement for those of you who do not have friends to find those opportunities to actually talk to people. The more you actually go out in public and talk to people, the more you might have those chance encounters where you might meet lifelong friends who are also able to journey with you together. This is ultimately why Horimiya is a Christian anime. Not only does it have an elevated view of relationships where community is something to be valued, but it really gives such a compelling case study in Miyamura on the impact it makes on one's life. There's also that meaningful definition of friendship which it gives. That friendship is not merely being in close proximity with one another, but there is that sense of intimacy where that self which is shown to the public is stripped away to show another secret self. I love that we follow each of these young people through their high school life with limited fan service and it feels so terribly nostalgic. Horimiya Peace is also airing this season which just adapts chapters from the manga which weren't included in the first place which they should have just done the first time around but now that it's relevant this season, go watch it, considering my confidence that Horimiya is a Christian anime. Which if you are looking for more Christian anime recommendations from the leading Christian voice on Anishube, I did a video on Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, which has similar themes to Harumiya with a slightly different twist.